Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dialer Swedish Tactics. Wow, I said that with uh, anger in my voice. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today is September 9th. Nope, 14th. <laughs> September 14th, 2023. So the patch just went live uh, today. And we got our second last dungeon in the Katosian Triangle unlocked. Uh, levels 7 through 10. Now today, it's the battlefield of Azura. You know that already because you clicked on the thumbnail. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it on auto. Um, uh, but I'm going to show you on my main account. So, battlefield of Azura. I I'm not even going to try it because obviously... I haven't completed level 6 on this account. On my free-to-play account, I can't pass level 7. So the first part uh, of the battle is fairly easy. We'll, we'll discuss that when we get into the, the footage. The first part is easy. Part 1 is easy. But part 2, like, we're missing something. Like, it takes... Uh, you need almost maxed out tanks with, like, a really good Titan's Hammer prototype to even dent this thing. Just because it's like, and I say it in the video, it's like a slap fight, right? A competitive slap fight. Uh, tanks versus this knockoff alien dark elf predator wannabe. But alas, I'm going to show you how um, I can do it on auto up to and including, well, actually we're only going to show you level 10 because the, the teams are exactly the same. It's basically summoners and tanks. So ladies and gentlemen... If I don't mention it at the end of this video, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this guide, please uh, either address them or come into my official Discord. The link is in the description. Or put them in the comment section in this video. And uh, I respond to all my comments, even if it's just something to say, like, I agree, indeed, that's true. Just to let you know that I, I read your comment and I addressed you. So, without further ado, let's get into the footage and let's show you how to defeat the Battlefield of Azura on auto uh, up to and including level 10. All right, let's do it. All right, we're going to auto stage 10 of the battlefield for Azura. This is this is, is historically been one of the harder dungeons. I'm going to run through this one really quick uh, because it takes forever. So use summoners, don't use hunters. Hunters will work, but the summoners are really, really easy. And it, the things to know about my hunters is that my prototypes are all maxed. Um, the front four are all X30, Sorvali's X20. She is running an accuracy set for max deer summons. And then Sif, you can see the gear sets all present on the heroes right now. Um, this team is stacked. Dan and Ampu are immortal five. Uh, Dan, Ampu, and Sif all have some immortal gear. Um, so that is that summoner team. And um, my pro my commander, not too bad. You guys tell me. Not too bad, in my opinion. Now, the tank team. I had originally tried Wamagon in the back to try to benefit from the increased health from Teresh and to try to benefit from the increased uh, attack from Masrani. I'm not totally convinced you actually need Masrani. Uh, Teresh is X30, Wamagon's X30 with a lot of Immortal Gear. Uh, Zeta is X20. And then uh, Wam or Panda, I will show you the gear. You got to pump this guy's accuracy because you want as many knockdowns as possible. So full accuracy set. I got HP hands, accuracy head, and damage reduction boots. Although you probably don't need damage reduction for this fight since he doesn't seem to take a whole lot of damage. So let's go. Yeah, let's burn a ticket. That was pricey. I think that one was about 600 crystals. Summoners, um, sometimes Rez rolls all the way to the left. In that case, he's a little bit of annoying because he'll split the damage from Ampu. Whereas he is right now, he's just gonna sit back there and we're just gonna melt these tanks. You see, uh, Zeta's dead right now. There we go, Zeta's gone, one tank gone. And now we're just gonna be laying into Wamagon and Panda. Like Panda's just getting but rocked by Gobo and Dor Doragon. I don't know if there, now he's gonna finally ult because he finally got a, a res boost. Uh, but then he is promptly gonna die. He's just, yeah, yeah, and he's dead. Okay. So yeah, the summoners are just chewing through these tanks. No Teresh, you know, probably should have brought Teresh instead of Rez, but you know, we're not gonna fault them for making it a little easier on us. Uh, so two minute fight in stage one, uh, you see it's, it's gonna, we're gonna eat up about half the clock. Can hunters, I don't, so with hunters, I was running Doragon as well. 
because he can't be CC'd, which is why I liked him, because he'd just stay up front and create just like ball work for the hunters to do their thing. I don't see how hunters can do this faster unless we get another hunter uh, that uh, is similar to Dorley, right? That has a tank, like a pet. So there you see Wamagons in the back. Now this fight, I, I kind of relate this fight to like, have you ever watched those competitive women's slap contests? That's this fight. It, this is watching paint dry. Um, Teresh is just going to tank the boss. He's barely going to feel it. Uh, we're all just going to tickle each other to death. Um, we're going we're gonna to take this battle right down to the buzzer with about 20 seconds left. Um, but you see, look at the damage meter. It's all panda. It's all knockdowns. So now there we go. Now people are going to start doing a little bit more damage. Um, kind of. Uh, it still looks like it's the all panda show. Whack, whack, whack. Whack, whack, whack. And then whoever gets the big hit when we hit the, the benchmark, like there's a there's a break point at 75, 50, and 25. And that's where we're going to do the majority of our damage. That's where we're going to take the biggest chunks of damage off. Um, the boss, Anzutra, he's not going to move because he'll jump to where the most, uh, I think the most congregation of, of heroes or enemies are. Uh, back in the day when we used to run two healers, he would he would jump to the back, right in amongst the healers. Now here we go. Here's the first break point. <coughs> oh, as I cough. And then boom, we just took a big old, I think it's like, I think it's 9%. Uh, yeah, I think I think nine percent, eight or nine percent is what you knock off his health when you break his little bubble there. And you see now he's starting to go down a little faster. If you look at the damage meter, Wamagon's kind of caught up. And now, oh, Wamagon's actually taking some hits. This is interesting. Uh, kind of weird. I'm not used to seeing. Usually, he just uh, focuses on Teresh, but uh, I guess I guess he's turned around and decided Wamagon is his buddy. Okay, let's just not have him kill Wamagon. There you go, we knocked him down again. And now he's going into his big old bubble bubble, toil and trouble, and he's down again. And he's up, that was, that was quick. So you see we are under 50%. Uh, we got basically just under half of our timer left. Nowhere near the limited tickets, nowhere near the advanced tickets. He's still beating on Wamagon. But, oh, we just took a big old chunk of health down from him again. Really, if you look at the damage meters, the Wam it's the Panda and Wamagon show. They're doing, they're putting in some good showings. Uh, basically, like I said, this fight's just all about knockdowns. It's boring though. It's boring, but it is on auto. So you know what you do when you're gonna do this fight in the morning while you're brushing your teeth. You're gonna put it on auto. You're gonna put the phone down right on the side. You're just going to look at it from side to side and say, yeah, Wami. Yeah, go Wami. Yeah, you're the man, Wami. Because you're a dragon. Big old chunk of health gone again. And now we're in the home stretch. We're just going to slap him some more until one of us falls over. Boom, boom, boom. Don't die, Wami. Wami almost died there. Look at his health. Don't die, Wami. Hey, uh, Masrani, do your job, bud. Uh, and we did lose Wami. Okay, so that is that is weird. That's the first time that's happened to me. Normally, um, I, I, normally he just focuses on Teresh the whole time. But, uh, oh well. Shouldn't make any difference uh, because we still got Panda. This is the Panda show. But uh, we'll see if it does anything at the time. Because normally we are just wrapping up right now. Like, I'm starting to get concerned. Oh, there it is. It's over. 15 seconds, though. Like, y you guys tell me, is there a faster team out there? Because this sucks. And there's got to be a faster team out there because we got no wiggle room for, for 11 and 12. But anyways, there we go. Battle of Azura on auto. TLDR, use summoners, and all your tanks. Till next time, guys. Cheers, peace. Bye-bye.